Tonight, she was bitten in the face by a deadly spider. You know, you do the quick thing to get it off you. The innocent casualty of a war that reached the home front. I'm the one that is wearing the scars. I met Rudy back, he was just 19 years old, went through uh, infantry. He is the elite of the elite in Special Forces. And he's working on his missions. And I'm the one that is wearing the scars. This is it. Rudy's bag. Comes back. Well, I'm taking out the clothes. And the next thing I know, something's on my face. And I just, well, they didn't find out exactly what kind of spider it was. What they're saying, it's kind of like a brown recluse. By the time that they had found out what it was, it had already been in my face seven months. But that was only the beginning of Kara's story. Today, she will find out if there is any hope. Hi. Hi. Looking at Kara, it's hard to imagine that any amount of makeup could cover her skin damage. Big thing is, and this is what I've been freaking out about, is my face too bad to fix? No, absolutely not. You don't even know, because I was so afraid. I said, I'm going to get there, and they're going to go, honey, you know, we'd like to help you, but, you know, it's just too damaged. Do you think it'll be fixed? I can already think of 20 things to do for you. There's a brand new type of laser that can actually help make that scar look much less apparent. The next thing we're gonna do is actually even out all of the color of your skin because you've got some areas that are light and some areas that are dark. Now the things that I can't give you, you already have. You have beautiful eyes and you have a wonderful, warm, loving personality. Dr. Zerum and I are gonna work together so that you get the very best results. Okay, yes. For Kara, a ray of hope. Because I've had multiple um, surgeries and incisions, it has left me, as you can see, severely scarred from the top to the bottom. Kara is a perfect example of a patient who needs both specialties, not just plastic surgery, not just dermatology, to get a result that she's gonna be happy with. Now, Kara's also very concerned about the bumpiness in here. You know, what I'd like to do is laser using the Fraxel laser, but also have you, as you're doing the fat injections, mm -hmm. put a little fat in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was also going to try to fill in the cheek scar here to give it a little more contour. Now, one thing that we're really going to have to work on okay. is the way that you're picking at your face. Right, so just no touching. That's right, it. no touching, and it's for life. Part of the healing process, your skin is going to be a little peely, you know, things aren't going to look perfect, and you're going to have to be committed to not touching your face. Okay. She's creating some of this problem herself, so there's only so much that we as physicians can do for her, but it's clearly a joint effort. Today's the day. It's on today. I think it's going to be great. Wish you the best of luck. Put yes. the big, big girl card out. It's on. You didn't know I was going to look this fantastic this morning. Look at you. The blue bonnet suits you. I'm telling you, it's runway. All right, I'll see you in there. No, you won't. I'll oh, no, I guess I won't. <laughs> and here is what Dr. Zaram sees. This fat is going to go into various scar retracted areas that are depressed. Dr. Zaram has repaired structural damage deep beneath the skin. All right, Kara, you ready? But for Kara. Okay. Okay. Those okay. results three, will take three, extreme pulse. time. It seems like Kara's already had a lot done. Two, three, pulse. Work. But in fact, we're just beginning. Now you're having a chemical peel. Your skin is going to peel. And patience. What is important about that? Don't touch it. You have already gotten a pretty dramatic improvement in the way your skin looks. Mm -hmm. So keep your mind on the goal. Let the laser do its work. Let the chemical peel happen. Wait for the results. It's a waiting issue, I think, at this point. And waiting is a game Kara plays all too well. Hello? Hey, baby. Hey, it's my handsome. You're good. What are you up to? I'm, well, I'm just here. I'm glad that you called. Are you safe? He, uh, you know, Logan lost his first tooth. He'll be married to a whole, whole new woman. Woohoo! Lucky you. And you didn't even have to go through a divorce to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you a lot. Yeah, I'm safe. I love you a lot too, babe. All right, sleep tight. Bye. Uh, All right, bye, babe. Bye, bye. You always wonder, well, should I? I should have dragged it out five more minutes, because what if something happened? You know. Convinced, her reflection will still be scarred. Yeah, I don't want to look at it. 
I just, I am having a hard time with that. Concerned, Doctors Shamban and Zaram make a house call. Hey there! Hey! Hi. How are you? You are watching the extreme reality of an extreme makeover. Say goodbye. And I brought the pictures Ew. of what you looked like before. Ew. Are you ready? No. We're going to go over to the mirror. You, you haven't been looking at yourself in the mirror? Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. Look at yourself in the mirror straight on. What right. do you see? You see an attractive young woman, mother of three. Oh. See that? Oh. So no, I want you to so look. Bad. No, I want you to look because you have to let this get into your head here. Right. Okay. We all have our own defense mechanisms. I guess denial is one of my favorite ones. I'd rather not think back to that time and have it right there in front of me. But I don't function in a world of befores. We function in a world of nows. You guys know I was not expecting perfection. You know it. And I'm not expecting perfection now. I'm really not. But you have a little distorted image. You're much better than you think you are. Every patient that I've ever operated on goes through a, some moment, be it brief or prolonged, of disappointment and, and depression, sort of because it's, this is it. This is the reality. Over the next 18 months, you're going to continue to see a tremendous amount of improvement. That's the way the lasers work. Most of it takes place over the period of time that your skin needs to lay down new collagen. OK. You have to have faith. Kara's scars, far more than skin deep. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Has her self-image been damaged forever? I don't know. I guess time will tell. Kara's personality will be able to come out of wraps now. It still kind of freaks me out, having people look at me. It almost looked like they had a fake smile on just to say you look good anyway, and then they went, oh. You do look good. It's just like, whoa, man. Go, girl! I was flabbergasting. My cheeks actually started to hurt from smiling so much. Now, Karen notices a very familiar face in the crowd. She looks so proud with her reveal, with her long hair. And it's very emotional seeing her family. You know, the tears really welled up, and I got goosebumps. And Kara is very, very lucky to have her three cute kids. He got to see me looking like a lady that he never got to see me looking like before. Before and after. What a difference. Here's what Kara received. Scar repair to forehead, fat injections to cheek, lip augmentation, a hair transplant, Fraxel laser treatments, photo and other facials, diamond peel, filler under eyes, laser hair removal, six Da Vinci porcelain veneers and zoom whitening. A heart-wrenching before, a heart-warming after. Did you see Rudy? He just kept looking back and forth to all of us, all together. And that's a for that's forever. It's forever. I'm here. <laughs> I have my wife back. She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I was so ashamed before. It was the first time I got to look in his eyes in years. It was very, very overwhelming seeing him up there. If you touch him, you can touch your husband. For the wives of some very special heroes and one extremely special family, a night of love.